In the contract, um, they need to, the board needs to give notice whether the contract is going to be renewed or not. If he's not given notice, then it is an automatic rollover. So what the board has decided to do is to list, uh, make an announcement um, for, for the position of, of CEO. It does mean that the present CEO cannot apply. Of course, the CEO, present CEO can apply, and if anybody else wants to apply, well, then that is your right as a uh, to, to apply for the job. You have some experience in these matters. You would know that three weeks, which is the which is the uh, portal for opening, you can't get anyone to take over a very heavy job like that. Anyone suitable to take over a heavy job like that in three weeks. So should we then conclude that it's just a formality and the present CEO will be renewed? I don't know. I think that. Um Oh, is that the way the report? I mean, let me start with that. No? But I do believe that um, a number of people have been looking at the possibility of that job being open. So the ones that are interested, I'm sure that they need less than three weeks to be able to put in their application. We know that in order to get a job like this, you have to be politically favored. That's not true. What we want to do, because if you look at what happened at BEL, we, we stayed with the present person because we believe that the that um, the CEO for BL, it was good for BL. So BL. what we want to be able to do BL. is to be um, BL. Um, yes, well, Mr. Mencias said he is good for BL, so we um, we hired him. And likewise, if the present CEO, if the board believes that he is doing a good job for, for the company, I'm sure they're going to hire him. They're going to renew his contract. Unless <coughs> somebody uh, new that can bring fresh ideas or, or a new direction to the company comes in.